Hello. Hello, is this Mr. Levant? Yeah. This is Jake Jarvie. I'm calling from Sheridan Road Magazine. Oh, great. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Functioning at a high level, thank you. It says that you were born in Highland Park. Were you raised here as well? Yes, I grew up in Highland Park on Sheridan Road, actually. Okay, I'm sure this is the question you get the most often. Why children's movies for you? First of all, I don't really consider them children's movies. The entertainment that I was most attracted to growing up invited everyone to sit around the campfire and didn't exclude segments of the audience. And that's really what it's about for me also. I think my phones and my TV was characterized by a strong emotional tie to characters. It was great for me to work on long-running series like Happy Days and later when we revived Leave it to Beaver to work with characters that people have a tremendous affection for of course. to begin with and then to discover new things in that relationship. My friend Ron Howard used to say that you should never really repeat yourself and he's done his damnedest not to. And I don't feel that I've repeated myself, but I haven't explored every genre on earth. My heart remains with the kind of work that I've been doing now for 35 years. This may seem like kind of an unfair question, but I'm very excited about it. You've worked with these amazing, amazing actors. You've worked with Ritter, you've worked with Groden, you've worked with Goodman, you've worked with Schwarzenegger. Who has been your favorite leading man? Ah, oh, very interesting. Well, you know, we just did uh, last year The Spy Next Door with Jackie Chan. Right. He was amazing. He was just an incredible human being. I mean, the most generous man I've ever worked with. And that experience just rose above many, many other quality ones, you know? We had a great time with James Coburn on Snow Dogs and closed down many a bar with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet he had some stories. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> and that really is the difference between TV and movies. Is in TV, you can be with the same people for decades. <laughs> right. I mean, we still have beaver parties and happy days softball games for god's sake that's so cool uh, but in movies it's more of a gypsy business and you just kind of do extended visits mm -hmm. <laughs> right and i will say that overall that being part of a tv family which is in the best case is what they really become and the ongoing nature of it it really does parallel real family life and you become so involved with those people that you are stuck with them for life <laughs> <laughs>